Gentlemen, you can come in and have a seat. I like to keep students waiting in order to let the tension build. So, do you know why you're here? No. No. Mm -mm. Well, I've graded your papers on Hume's dialogues and I noticed a problem. There's a paragraph in both papers that was copied directly from Wikipedia. Ring a bell. Uh, what's Wikipedia? I don't even know what Wikipedia is. Guys, lying is just going to annoy me. Now, this isn't the end of the world. The policy here at DWU is that you'll be reprimanded for cheating. You'll be given an F for the class. But if you don't have any future incidents, your record will be cleared at graduation. However, if you get caught again, it's expulsion. So stop lying and stop cheating. Cheating? That's a strong accusation, what Dr. Worm. What proof do you have? I'll give you this warning one time. Don't act like I'm a moron. You copied an entire paragraph from a Wikipedia article. Or did we just happen to write the exact same thing that's on this Wikipedia without copying it? Yeah, ever heard of coincidence? Coincidence. Coincidence? Coincidence, son. What are the odds that two students in the same class working on the same paper would end up writing not only the same paragraph as each other, but the same paragraph I found on Wikipedia entirely by coincidence. Why are you asking us? You're the one calling people yeah, cheaters. You tell us what the odds are. Well, I'm not sure how to calculate an exact probability, but let's just say one in a hundred million trillion. So you're telling me there's a chance. Let's go with that one in a hundred million trillion. So are you saying that if something's got a probability of one in a hundred million trillion, it can't happen? It wouldn't be logically impossible, but it would be unbelievable. One in a hundred million trillion would be one in 10 to the 20th. That's these odds. Now you say that something beating these odds would be unbelievable, but when the universe is forming, the gravitational constant was so precise that if it had been even slightly different by one part in 10 to the 60th power, we wouldn't exist right now. And the gravitational constant is a joke compared to the fine tuning of some of the other constants. So obviously, if these odds can be overcome by chance, there's no reason we couldn't have written the same thing you found on this Wikipedia. Well, the standard response to the fine-tuning argument is that if these constants didn't have the values that they have, we wouldn't be here to notice them. So the fact that we're here assumes that the odds were overcome. Yeah, and if we didn't write the same thing as whoever wrote the Wikipedia article totally by chance, you wouldn't have noticed the similarities. So the fact that you're in here accusing us of plagiarism assumes that this is all a coincidence. Quinky dink. Hmm. I guess you have a point. If the universe is the product of chance, I just have no basis for accusing you of plagiarism. Thank you. Gentlemen, I'm afraid I owe you an apology. Not only do I withdraw my accusation, I hereby declare that no matter how similar your future papers are to Wikipedia articles, I can never accuse you of cheating because the odds of you writing the exact same words that a Wikipedia author came up with, no matter how many times it happens, are far better than the odds of the universe being able to support life by chance. If I can believe that the universe formed without a designer, I can believe absolutely anything. Apology accepted. Thanks, atheism.